This is a regular wide gap shooting floor. And this is my wide gap shooting floor. Spot the difference? Today I'm going to show you how to set your wide gap foundations at any height you want relative to your base. And really these gorgeous roof peaks are just the starting point of what you can do with this technique. Take this for example. The dreaded stealth turret. Okay, so the technique changes a tiny little bit depending on if you're wide gapping a corner of the base, like this or a flat side of the base, like this. So let's start with this one. For a two triangle corner, place a twig square and follow with triangles like so. Remove these, push into this corner and look directly into the center where the triangles meet. At this point you can choose your wide gap height. For the perfect roof peak go just slightly above the guiding foundations. Now pull it back as far as it goes and place. Now build out two squares and a triangle. Then remove the excess twigs and build back like so. Good! These are your elevated wide gap foundations. Now just build up to a shooting floor, which can be tiny as per this example, or way bigger, depending on your base. And this is now basically a standard wide gap, but with a little extra on top. Oh, and if you're new to this, keep in mind that this module isn't actually connected to your main base and will decay rapidly if not attached to an external DC for upkeep. If you want to learn more about that, links in the description. Now let's see how we handle a flat wall side. And by the way, it's the same technique whether the wall is on a square like here or on a triangle. But I'll demonstrate with this setup because of uh, personal preference. Here you do this, you start with a triangle and continue with triangles. Break this, go here, find the center of the gap, then set a square at your preferred elevation, which again for the roof peak is just slightly above the guide foundations. Pull back and place. Now from here you can go one square and triangle out, then back with triangles. and then make what I consider the most effective compact wide gap setup. And trust me, I use this setup a lot, it's really good. But you know, if instead of triangles you find yourself fancying a square or three, then from this elevated free-handed square you go out two squares capped with a triangle, then come back with triangles, and here you place the permanent wide gap foundations, upon which you can do something like this. And this is actually pretty nice. With the new crouch to win meta you're more accurate. The stairs will also protect you against most incoming fire. Not to mention you can place a box behind them, which is useful. And you can use them to peek the roof. What's not to like? And if it's not one flat wall, but two or three, well you get it, it's all the same method. 
And again, if you just want the basic roof peaks, raise the foundation only a little bit, cause if you go and do this... Well, you, you won't enjoy the shooting floor experience too much. So just practice it a couple of times, you'll figure it out. And really, there are so many weird and wonderful things you can do with this, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. So uh, yeah, that's it for me today. Go and watch all of my videos and I promise you, you will be the best builder in your chair. Can't wait to see you again and until then, goodbye for now and blessed be.